Since its debut in 2014, the popular TLC program 90 Day Fiancé has introduced scores of couples, but not all of them have remained together, particularly in the last couple of years when the COVID-19 pandemic put a pressure on many relationships, many 90 Day Fiancé franchise couples have broken up. Nearly 30 90 Day Fiancé couples are still married today, despite the difficulties. So stay tuned to find out couples who are still going the distance. First up, Russ and Paula, the iconic couple that no one can forget. One of the four original couples on season one of 90 Day Fiancé is Russ and Paula Mayfield. Over the years, the couple experienced many highs and lows, and even took some time apart. But in 2022, Paula and Russ are back together and happy in their union. One son was born to Russ and Paula, and as of last year, Paula is a legal citizen of the United States. Next up, Paul Stale and Karini Martins. Paul and Karini, another American and Brazilian couple, connected online and flew out to meet with Karini as soon as possible. They eventually got married despite some turmoil. Karini, though, threatened to divorce him more than once since she wasn't thrilled about their move to Kentucky. Even though they are still married and share a son named Pierre, they are not exactly content. Karani has referred to Paul as a horrible husband and father, and it appears that they are actually getting divorced quickly rather than just threatening to. David and Annie are still going strong. In a karaoke bar in Thailand, David met Annie. As he listened to her sing like an angel, he fell in love. He popped the question after just 10 days of being together, and the answer was yes. Sadly, their financial condition wasn't the most secure. David's previous divorce had left him with unstable finances. Additionally, in order to marry Annie, he had to give a sizable quantity of money to her parents. Fortunately, they were able to bounce back and are still a happy couple. David was able to land a position teaching online while also working for a big marketing firm. Annie established her own Thai catering company. Additionally, they co-own the Spice It Up with David and Annie YouTube channel, where they instruct viewers on how to make real Thai food. Next up, Josh and Alexandra. One of the younger couples to feature on 90 Day Fiancé was Josh and Alexandra. Josh was an Idaho native while Alexandra was a Russian citizen. While on separate trips to the Czech Republic, the two people met. Alexandra transformed her prior party girl lifestyle after meeting Josh and became a Mormon. After a year, Josh acquired her a K-1 visa so she could move to the U.S. and proposed. Since then, they have had two children and earned separate degrees in public health and medicine. Another couple that has seemingly stood the test of time is Devar and Melanie from season three. One of the un common examples of vacation romances that actually worked out for a franchise couple is Devar Walters and Melanie Bowers from season three. Melanie and Devar were able to resolve their issues and have built a happy and fulfilling life for themselves. Ava is a daughter that Devar and Melanie had together, and Hunter is a son that Melanie has from a prior relationship. Olga and Steven are also still together following their appearance on the reality show. Olga met Steven while she was on vacation in the U.S. They clicked right away, perhaps a little too well. Olga became pregnant with their child just a few months after they started dating. When their son was born, Stephen went to Russia. But after that, everything went downhill. The whole thing began with the falsehood about Stephen securing Olga a K-1 visa. After a year of marriage, they divorced. But they were able to resolve their disagreements to the point where they could jointly parent their child. Next up, a very surprising couple that has remained together. Alu Lowo and Narkia. One couple that 90 Day Fiancé viewers were certain would never work out is Olu Lowo, Shodapi, and Narkia Lathan. Olu Lowo famously misled Narkia about every aspect of his life, despite the couple's surprise continuation of their relationship after skipping the season 4 tell-all episode. They had a daughter together and are still married. Narkia also dazzled the audience with her most recent weight loss endeavor. Elizabeth and Andre from season 5 are also still together. Although many fans of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise loathe Elizabeth Pothast and Andre Castrovet from season 5, their marriage is solid. Although Libby and Andre are frequently criticized for being conceited and entitled, they genuinely care for and support one another. Libby is expecting her second kid with Andre at the moment. Given his aggressive demeanor, the pair has had a surprisingly good relationship. Kalani and Aspalu are an interesting couple that many thought would not stand the test of time, but they have. 
While on vacation in Samoa, Kalani met Aswalu at a resort. Aswalu, a resort employee, quickly worked up the nerve to propose to her. After returning to the resort a couple more times, Kalani fell pregnant with their son, Kennedy. They were trying to be married, but they were having some financial issues. Additionally, their families weren't really on board. Since then, they have resolved their financial issues and welcomed a second son. Now that they are both active on social media professionally, the two of them employ their dance abilities. Aaron and Lita from season six are also still going strong. Eric Rosenbrook and Lita Margarita Cohen, a couple from season six, are renowned for their extreme drama. In contrast to Josh and Aka, Lita is one of the most well-known antagonists from the 90 Day Fiancé series. However, despite controversy surrounding his decision to side with Lita over his teenage daughter, Eric has remained at her side over the years. They don't have any children together, but they did own a house together. Another couple who is still together from season six is Emily Lorena and Sasha Laren. Together, Emily and Sasha lived in Russia, but in March 2022, Emily returned to the United States. Fans of 90 Day Fiancé criticized Sasha for making debatable comments regarding the conflict in Ukraine. He looks to be married to Emily despite this. Sasha has more kids with different women than the one son the couple had together. Now, most 90 Day fans will remember this couple, Robert and Anne. Annie. From season 7, Robert Springs and Annie Francisco, a couple from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, created a fulfilling life together. Sadly, following heart surgery, they lost their son Adriel in April. The devastating loss has left Robbie and Annie understandably heartbroken, yet they are still together. Brenda Aaliyah is the couple's daughter, and Robert has kids from prior marriages. One of the sweetest couples to appear on 90 Day Fiancé includes Noon and Kyle, who are happily still together. While Kyle was conducting research for a trip to Thailand, Noon initially got in touch with him. During his journey, the two actually met, and the rest is history. Noon received a K-1 visa so she could move to New Orleans with Kyle when they were engaged. Contrary to the majority of characters on the show, the couple genuinely had a happy and loving relationship. They are reportedly considering having a child, and they are still happily married. They're simply content with their kitty for now. Another couple still together. Danny and Amy. Since their marriage in 2014, Danny from Norristown, Pennsylvania, and Amy from Cape Town, South Africa have welcomed three children, son Jedediah, daughter Anna, and daughter Willow, due in January 2021. The family currently resides in Texas and started a marriage and family group at a church there in April 2019. Next up, Brett Otto and Daya D'Ars. On an international dating website, Brett and Daya connected. When Brett first met Daya in person, it didn't take him long to fall head over heels for this stunning Filipina, but it wasn't all plain sailing. There was some drama, with Brett's mother's remark that she was a money digger, being the most significant issue. The relationship was often not well supported by his family. Nevertheless, the couple is still together today and has given birth to a daughter named Isabella. And finally, Lita and Eric. Lita and Eric first connected after she responded to his international online ad. Later, they crossed paths in America, where they soon became engaged. Nevertheless, despite how quickly they got married, their marriage has been quite successful. Nevertheless, there was some turbulence that led to a four-year restraining order against one of their daughters. But now they are raising their son in their new home, seemingly living a happy life. And there you have it, everything you need to know about 90 Day Fiancé couples and who are still together. Now make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Did any of these couples surprise you? Did we forget any that are still going strong? Do you love binge watching 90 Day Fiance like us? Let us know down below. And as always, thanks for watching.